So Tom's first go on the Baja board, the Atrax S2. Tom's a seasoned skater and it's the first time he's ever had a crack at this. Oh, it's got like the braking when you ease off. Yep. That's what my... So this is a, a person who skates a lot, um, who's got many boards, and he has an, uh, a S2, one of the earlier models. It's being converted to the Atrax as we speak. So for me, it's just good to see how Tom feels with the board and see how much he's enjoying it. And he's going to do a few laps, he's going to do a few circuits just so he can get a feel for it because he's never ridden one before. Very different feeling board to a normal electric skateboard. Oh. And now he's looking for more power, I'll guarantee it. He's going, is this it? Is this it? So I've got it set at 50% and 70% on braking. So I haven't got the launch turned up or wound up at all, I've just got it on 50% power, 70% on the brakes and oh. <laughs> Bit muddy there. <laughs> so any minute now you're going to say, any more in it? Any more? Alright, let's get us some more power out of this thing I think. I knew it was coming. <laughs> Straight up, there it is. <laughs> All right, can I just do it? So press that yep. button. Yep. No, the other one. That's one. All right, yep. so we want board. Board, yep. And we want power. Yep. So, yep. Yep. For the oh, trigger. trigger. Trigger, sorry, yep. All right, so and let's... And then up. So we're going let's to go 70. 70. So we're on 50, we're going up to 70. And then brake. Brake up, brake up, brake up. And brake back. up. And we're back on. All right, cool. What's your first thought? Yeah, it's like it's 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 really cool, but it's different it to is. what I'm used to. Yeah, but I'm sure I can get used to it very quickly, <laughs> very very quickly. <laughs> but we'll see. So, the smart thing to do with a Baja is to take small steps. And as I said, Tom's been skating for a long time, so for him, this is more of a get a feel for what the board's all about get that different feeling because it is a different feeling than your standard board and then get crack into it. It's the cornering's a bit funny, isn't it? Very to get different. used to. So when we came in today, we came in the park, Tom was riding his Evolve, as you can see. Rumour has it they're about to release a new Evolve, the Hey Dean or Had Hadian. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but we're just gonna go with Hey Dean. Not sure who Dean is, but that's okay. Yeah. Enough to get the heart going? Yeah, it does. It's uh, it's fun. I can see, um, I think the, the remote is pretty sick actually. I like that. But I think all I need to do is get used to the turning. Yeah. Once I've got the turning down, and probably I find that learning to turn sharp, it's good to do it with a bit of grip. Yep. If you're doing it with yeah. grip, then you kind of know the capabilities. Doing it in this slop is really challenging because it's, um, it's a bit loosey-goosey. Yeah, and it's hard to know when to bring the power on, and I'm not, I'm, I'm like literally first crack, so I don't know 
Yep. Did you go the first crack? Yeah, it's good. As I had the first crack at um, Oakley BMX station, uh, yeah. BMX park with the guys, and I had the same thing. It was a case of what do we what do we think and how do we how do we go with it? And yeah. I was blown away at the acceleration, the torque, the braking, and all the adjustment you've got in it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it is good, mate. And there's heaps there's heaps to um, heaps to do, heaps to toy around with and get a good feel. And yeah. I'm sure that I mean, if this is um, Alessandro's board, then he probably weighs a good 20 kilos lighter than me. Yeah, look, did you he, tighten he, shockers? He, um, yeah, he, he screwed the dampeners up to take my weight, yep. and we did a bit of toe in for it. So it's it's sitting for about 90 odd kilos. Okay. So well, it's probably not far from where you are. You're yeah. probably a few kilos more than me, but yes. I'm just a very short, heavy package, as I always say. And I Two just, hamburgers heavier than I should be. <laughs> and I just had a McDonald's lunch, so that's definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a promotion. <laughs> But I like it. It feels good. It's just getting that learning, of, uh, that turning circle is f what I'm sort of finding a little bit unusual because it's completely yeah. It's 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 unique to itself. It is. You don't. Yeah, it's very unique. Yeah. So that's the only thing that I'm feeling a little bit nervous about. But everything else, like control-wise, it's it's uh, it's exactly what I was hoping it would be. Yeah. So I'll give it a bit more toying around. So we're just at the back end of one of our parks, our local parks here, and um, me and Tom just adjusted, just tuned up so we could have a bit of a crack because he really wanted to have one or have a go at one. His one does arrive, I believe, in a week's time, but because I had this, he wanted to have a crack. So I've done all my skating today. I think I've done about 60 k's. I've done a charge in the middle of the day and come back again, and then this is just using up some of the charge that's left for the day. So. Yep. Because of the torque, you have to be a little bit more gentle with your uh, your throttle. Your throttle, not like the Evolve. I mean, the Evolve's got some torque, but you just roll it on. Yeah, this thing just. You, you've got to be you confident give, to launch into it. You give it a little finger, and it's uh, she wants to buck. Yes, absolutely. And and the and the. The launch, that's on the launch, so you can actually turn the launch up and down, yeah, so okay. you can actually, if you if it's too much, you can actually wind it off and all the rest of it as well, so there is more control in that as well. Sure. No, it's good, man. It's good. I can't wait to toy around with my beast. So Tom's lucky enough to have his coming in about a week's time. I've got to give this back uh, in about a week's time. <laughs> so we might get, if the weather's good, we might get one weekend out in the Baja boards together. So we'll have an S2, A-Trax, a new one, like the one we're riding today, or, uh, and, sorry, a um, upgraded older S2 with the new A-Trax gear. So that'll be pretty exciting to see both of them together and, um, and see, who oh, he's got confident, he's dashed off into the bush. So Tom's just been around the back and he's given the board a bit of a crack out in the open. Obviously feeling his a little bit of comfort here. Yeah. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have gone over there. It was um, bloody, a lot of dirt. That's all right. A lot of dirt is happy. <laughs> That's good though. Jeez, I, I can see, um, you know, I feel, I mean, it's going to take me a, a good couple of weeks, I reckon, to really feel this. And I reckon getting back onto the, um, the uh, stiff boards is going to be a bit of a challenge too, finding the groove again. Yeah, when I went out last week on the clouds, um, going from the ATs, it was bad enough. And then jumping on this, and I went for a quick spin on my ATs on my carbon board um, this morning yeah. as well. Um, and it was completely, completely unfamiliar. Yeah. Um, really have to reset your brain a little bit. You do, you do. But, you know, I, I get Alessandro's point. Like, this is really not designed for a road. No. Like you, you don't. You know, there's no point really having the the suspension if you're just going to ride on road because th their 18 inch pneumatics are more than capable of taking on most of the yep. the bumps. This is really you can see how this is just built for dirt tracks and off road trails and stuff. Yeah, yeah. but I, I I don't know. I, I, for me, I think you could commute on this quite easily if you had 20 k's to go and. Oh, don't get me it. wrong. I, I I agree. And you know what? That'll probably be the the majority of what I use it for. Yeah. Like when we go on those ride days and I don't have to worry about range anxiety. 
<laughs> as we, with, with, with all the problems we always have, isn't it really? Yeah, with my premium power. Pre <laughs> Baja board evolved. Baja board. Oh, oh, we haven't, hey Tom, we haven't seen the Hey Dean or the Hadian. Or yeah, whatever the hell it is. The Hua Dean. The, yeah. the Dino Dino. <laughs> uh, It'd be interesting to see what that is. It better be good. Better not be just all smokes and bloody mirrors again. We'll wait and see, I suppose. So I'm, I'm, I'm giving this a good clean up and Tom's giving it an absolute caking in mud again, which yeah. is good because that's what it's made for. Well, I'm, I'm in the I'm no, right. shadows here. There's a little bit of a lag with the accelerator. Is that is that adjustable as well? I don't know, possibly. Okay. I um, haven't had a look into that. I felt there's a little bit of a lag too, but I think it's only just that little piece of the throttle that you, you sort of just... I think it's just the tri trigger mechanism actually coming on. Well, it's probably the launch control, to be honest. Possibly. And I must admit, I haven't played around with the launch yeah. control. I was going to leave that for next weekend where I can give it a red-hot crack and see what it does. Because right now, getting used to the board like you are, because um, as I said, I've had this for a couple of days now. Um, so what's the, what gets it to the power screen again? Um, the, 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 that button? Yep, one there. And then... Board. Yep, blue. Yep, that one there. And, and then, then power, power, which is, let's try that. So Tom's just pushed up to 80%. Let's see whether that's, so what's the top speed on this thing? 50? Um, I think on paper it says like 50 or 60. Yep. Um, I've had this on road this morning, coming to your place or just before, at 52. Shit. Um, and I've had it on dirt at 48. It's pretty so, solid. Um, yeah, it's good, it's good numbers. Oh, see, it's that little bit that gets me. The learning part of this board is that you'll, you'll start off slow and you'll build up and as you build up more and more and more, you'll get that level of confidence up. I, um, yesterday I started 50, 70, 80, and then went up to 100. As you can see, Tom's come past now. Sun behind me, so it's a bit messy. Um, he's now sitting at 80, and it won't be long, another 20 minutes on this, and he'll be sitting at 100, and he'll be going for it. So it's, it's one of those things you, you find your comfort level. You don't, if you're smart with one of these, you don't just jump in, you'll, you'll actually learn how the board works and learn how the actual mechanism actually functions. Because if you're pushing hard and you don't know what you're doing on this, you're going to get spat off. And that's just the nature of the beast. So um, it's good to see Tom out there. It's good to see Tom trying out this board. I've got the sun over the wrong way again. Here we go. Look at me. Oh, look. Right. Oh, look at this way. With the sun beaming in my face. As you can see. Yeah.
Bring it with all power. front suspension arm and and then I've just lost I lost balance like I didn't obviously didn't throw me off but you know that's that's the hard part to try and change your brain yeah but I think the fact that it's still like you know if I line up for a corner and I bounce a little bit before I go into it then I'm the brain sort of is in that right spot yep but if I don't and I don't think about it for a second then I'm looking at it I'm driving it like a pretty good car yeah exactly right Body, your feet movement or everything. Yeah, not not. Whereas this is, you can really lean your body into it. This you have to be on your tippy toes or your heels. Yep. To get the most out of the turn. Yeah.
by Tom is where I won't be able to keep up with him. I want an evolved GTR and although I'm pretty comfortable on this board, I haven't ridden it for about six months. I'm doing 35k an hour. Yeah, actually 32 and that's it. The horse has got in GTR mode. Different level of confidence, isn't it? Yeah, don't worry, you're not alone. <laughs> yeah, it's good that you can just, I mean, although I hit that gutter not that fast, I, just, it, I did feel it still. Fine, but. to the end of another monumental day. GBT, freezing cold, absolutely freezing. Winter in Melbourne, you've got to love it. But I tell you what, the Baja board, this bad boy, hasn't let me down today. It's been punished, absolutely punished, and has um, performed just so superior to anything else. Um, had a great day, as you see, the sun Disappearing, disappearing on the horizon and I'm just cracking to the home front which is a usual thing for me